Hi! Hello once again, everybody. Happy Patriot Day, everyone. I know I don't have nothing patriotic on. Or just something with red, white, and blue on. I'm sorry. Just the way I'm doing, wearing, getting clothing. But, but today is Monday, Sep- your fantastic Monday, September the 11th, 2023. And like I said, it is Patriot Day. Um, 22 years ago today was a fateful day. It was a frightful day in American history. Because that's when the, the Twin Towers in New York City was hit with, with airplanes and then they collapsed. And they, they were built with strong metal but yet they still collapsed. And then that third bit, uh, and another plane went down in the Pennsylvania field was, I think, was, I think they said was headed for the White House. It was, it was headed for the White House. And um, people on board was able to subdue the, the people that took the plane over and was able to get the, the or somehow or another made the plane crash in the field instead of the only the people were hurt in the in that plane was killed on that that plane, but thousands of people were killed and thousands and thousands of people were killed in the Twin Towers and in those planes. First responders, policemen, firemen You name it. Some of them lost their lives in that. But if you watching was involved in 9-11, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what, what part you had in that. Or if you had a family member involved. Just let me know in the comments. I would like. I would love to know. I would love love to pray, pray, pray for you and your family. Because it is a faithful day in your in your memory that you don't want to remember, but you got to because your loved ones passed. You, your loved ones, your friends, your colleagues, or whatever you might have worked in the ten twin towers, whatever. Let me know. I, I like. I like to pray. Remember you in prayer about it. So, but today's days of uh, days of praise passage, episode 1090, 1098. Wednesday will be episode eleven hundred. So, so don't forget ten ninety eight part one. We're going to be talking about a response to threat. It's going to be talking about 9-11 in this one, so buckle your seatbelts and let's, <laughs> but if you're, if you're excited about this, don't forget to leave a like, don't forget to leave a com- comment if you, if you, someone you know, or ha- any, had anything to do with the 9-11 attack, or in, involved in it. Any way, any shape or form. So, but this also will be another entry into the Psalms Choices of Life playlist as well. So, subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications, share the video and channel with your family and friend. Help me reach that goal of 50 subscribers right now. Which, just prior to starting recording this video, my number is back to 45 and I'm like, yes, at least it's going up, not down. So it's gone back up to 45. So it's back up to where it was when I took my hiatus. So, so at least it's going up to, so once we reach 50 and I'll decide where we want to go from there. So, but I would love by the, 
maybe by the end of the year to have 100. Maybe by December 31st, 23, or January 1st, 24, to have 100 subscribers. So, so please, please help me get, reach those goals. And liking the video will help the the more likes the video gets, the better the uh, um, the better the outreach of, of my videos and channel to other people. So, so a response to threat. This one is from John D. Moore. So he was a contributor. So um, since the last time I recorded Saturday night, I went to a gospel scene. In Bellevue, Sum Summerfield, Bellevue, um, Florida, at Memorial Baptist Church to see a, a group within their final gospel concert, River Jordan, which we had a family, a friend of the family was involved in the group for like 10 years. And I didn't, and I heard last night that this group had been going for multi, multi years because the oldest members have been in there 50, probably 50 something years in this group. And I'm like, or they've been in, in singing, but they've been in this group for, for multiple years. So, but hang on, but they were doing their last concert. So, I bid you farewell, River Jordan. Good luck on your future endeavors to all the members, which friends of the family would have been in it for 10 years. He's been out for about five years. So, but um, Ralph Walker, Ralph Dixon, Cliff, I don't remember what his name, his last name is. And then the new guy's been in there for five years. Um, Sean, don't know what his last name is. And then friend of the family, uh, Jim James Tastain. So, and then probably there have been other members, but we only know of those members. So, but I bid you farewell, River Jordan. Thanks for the memories, and good luck in the future. But so Psalms 40, 91 verses four and five says, he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust, Sh shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flyeth by day. So today we remember the unprovoked attack on America by Muslim terrorists. And that despite the attempts to make the country more secure, the threats remain scarcely abated. What should the Christian's response be? So in, our, in the verse above, we see we have no cause for fear. The physical danger may be real, but our Lord promises protection in tender words likened to a mother's bird's care for her young. So our ultimate deliverance is guaranteed by his, his sure promises. Trust in his power and truth. Trust in his power and truth sustains us as surely as a shield and buckler. So our hope cannot rest in military might. God does not promise temporal safety for to all, for millions have succumbed to undeserved violence. Our last hope is a different order, firmly grounded in the Lord, which is my refuge, Psalm 91, 9. He responds to our trust and worship with the promise, with long, better translated as eternal, life, will I satisfy him and shew him my salvation. Verse 16. Much more interested in our response to troubles than in our deliverance. 
He desires us to believe and serve him, trusting him even in perilous times. So a New Testament application of this principle is in 1 Peter 3, 14. And it says, if ye suffer for righteous, if ye suffer for righteousness sake, happy are ye, and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. So what is the remedy for that? But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you. The hope that is in you with meekness and fear. 1 Peter 3, 15. So Jesus Christ is our example and inspiration. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. Hebrews 12, 3. So fixing our eyes upon him, we have no cause of fear. Amen? So that's all I have for your day, days of praise passage for today. Coming up tomorrow in your terrific Tuesday, September the 12th, episode 1099. We should already be hitting 1100 tomorrow, but I had to push, since I missed Friday, I had to push the number up one day. And then I did a part 1A, part 1B. I did a Friday and Saturday double thing on the Days of Praise and the Daily Bread. And then I did the Friday turning point and then the Saturday bonus video back to back. So I did six videos in one day. But with that 1A, 1B and one and 2A, 2B, I did the same number. So, so here's the reason why I had to push the numbers up. <laughs> but 1099 part one, we will be talking about the remarkable Psalms. Which, that'll be another The Series entry, number 169. We will begin with Acts 13, 32, and 33 from Henry M. Morse. So stay tuned to that. I'll get to that later tonight, but you'll see that tomorrow. <clears throat> tomorrow at 7. So. so coming up later after 1 our um, daily bread passage for your 9-11, your Patriot Day 2023, Fantastic Monday, September 11th, 2023. We will be talking about part two of episode 10, 98, and we will be discussing about which wisdom. From Sheraton Voise, derived from James 3, 13 through 18. So stay tuned for that. I'll get to that in just a few minutes, but you'll see that later after one. So with that said, <clears throat> I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on and trusting God, and he'll keep you safe and all he's saying doing 2023 and beyond. And, 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 until, and until then, peace out, everybody. So long, farewell. Come back later when we will be talking about which wisdom. What is that going to be about? Come back and find out. Until then, God bless everyone. God bless America in 2023. And I'll see you later. <laughs> so until later, even though he's on my shirt, he's right here next to me. So until later, me and Baby Yoda, we out until then. So we'll have a great rest of your, your Patriot Day morning. And we'll see you after one. So until then, goodbye.